Blessings, beloveds. So, today I am doing an August awakening update. And in the end, we will do an activation that is channeled for our highest good that can assist us throughout the month. Which means it's also an activation you can return to as often as you feel guided because we it's being created for our group field, our soul tribe beyond time and space and location. And it's designed to assist us. So blessings and congratulations for have managed almost the whole July month. What a month. For me personally, it feels like I have time traveled and I have jumped between dimensions. The amount of clearing and healing and correction that has been happening during sleeping time uh, has been something completely different. Know that August and July was also partly that, but August is a month of correction. So what we're doing is that we are correcting um, what has been um, destroyed, which has been um, somehow the overlays that I've been talking about. So we are doing deep corrections in future timelines, past timelines we're doing corrections in our dna's we're doing correction in our cellular memories in what has been taken away what has been blocked and erased and so on and so on but from the macro level <clears throat> we are also doing corrections in a smaller in our everyday life in how we communicate, what we choose to do, and who we choose to spend time with, right? This has been going on for quite a long time for many of us in this field, but the corrective measurement that is happening is on a detail level now. So I wanna say this about August, because I usually say leave the details, and that's still correct because it's very good for us to leave the details of how we're gonna serve, like the details, the control of the exact details of the future. But what we're moving into now, into details, is actually details of my everyday life. August will amplify details. So details of how you're meditating, how sharp and focused and alert are you when you're doing it, not only doing it anymore. So this is something I am experiencing too. And my guys were like, you need to go out and talk about this. It's the details of, okay, how we're eating, how our body's communicating with us, details of how we're moving. Uh, details of how we are resting, how much we're resting, and so on and so on. So, the outer details of the future is still not anything to put energy on, but the details of now, the details of how we are living our life today, at this moment, okay? So, another big thing as the Stargate of 8-8 eight, eight is coming through is that I want to say that the darkness, they always use these kind of dates to create separation. So there is a spiritual field, right? There's many, 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 many people awakening. And we don't need to resonate with everyone. But what is important it is, of course, that we use our discernment, which is going to be amplified even more and more and more. So I've been saying this for quite a long time. Maybe some people we have been listening to or following might fall away because they're not resonating with us anymore. Uh, or we see a post or we see someone talking about Lionsgate or the 8-8 Stargate in a way that doesn't resonate with us and so on and so on. But it's so important that we rise above the, the separation that it creates. So I've been seeing 
some arguments in between the spiritual community about what is right, what is not right, what is false, what is right. And it's of course very important that we try to work with our own center and what is truthful for us. And that's why I always talk about the 12 day shield you know shield yourself every morning if you are gonna watch like a longer video maybe even open sacred space so you know that the highest of the highest and only the highest will come in and come through for you and close the space when you're done so again right all these small details are being important so you can go out there and 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 listen and you know, take in information. Because the thing is that we get inspired by each other. We are awakening each other. So even if I'm listening to a spiritual teacher that let's say teaches something that is not in alignment with me, as I'm listening to it and I'm centered and grounded in my light pillar, in my 12 shield, I will be able to discern what is not for me and what is for me and i will wake up even more of my divine truth so what i want to say around the whole eight eight stargate thing that is kind of trying to become like a divided thing in the spiritual field i think still that it's a very powerful energy and i usually don't share things that others have already shared about the 8-8 eight, eight target. I follow my guides and the guidance and what I'm being asked to share out there. And about the 8-8 eight, eight target, it's that it's a very amplified energy, which uh, gives us an opportunity to dive deeper into the next part of this year, right? The next part of our life, the next part of our mission. And, um, what my guides have been saying is really like them as there's a lot of energy right above the pyramids in Egypt there's a lot going on around those timelines and I think we all feel and sense that uh, for me really it really doesn't matter so much um, the astrology since that's not my field but what I'm seeing is that 2023 is the year of us retrieving very very important information underneath the pyramids around the pyramids over the pyramids and there's very 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 important information that is being kind of released because of the vibration and the, the heightened electromagnetic field on this planet, but also because it's divinely orchestrated since eons of lifetimes for us to access this now. But also in the walls of the pyramids, there are a lot of overlays, which is actually incorrect information and you can call it black magic or dark energies, whatever you want to call it, but it's still like an overlay of the true energies that we are clearing now. So the whole August, that's also why I'm doing this huge webinar in the end of August about Egyptian timelines. For me and the information that I'm receiving for my guides is really about we worked a lot with the Lemuria. There has been a lot about uh, the Atlantean timelines. Now it's a lot of focus around the Egyptian timelines. And we are assisted by Sirius being just above the Stargate. And of course, all the other activities we do. So that's why I was guided to assist you guys with an email every day. So this is really like me on my vacation having this huge you know push from my guys to assist you through an email every day of a practice to do from 1st of august to 8th of august where you can really dive deep and get assistance not only because of the energy but also because many are kind of ending their their vacation and and, and we're starting a new term in schools and stuff at least in the northern hemisphere so it happens also simultaneously with our calendar. 
but also because it's very beautiful to come together and there is a very important cosmic moment happening and when we come together and do something together in unity we can crack all the separation that tries to happen i mean by the end of the day we're all experiencing everything from our individual lenses right so even what i'm saying here you're all receiving it in different ways so let's you know strengthen the spirits of christ during august because there will be an energy of uh, anger and that anger can come and rise to our nervous system and if we are not observing and going to witnessing observing the anger that is in the collective field it might stir up and 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 we might go into the stories of separation and where we try to put ourselves higher or lower and start to compare ourselves and so on and so on so the anger that is coming through right now from the collective is because of very important movies that is being spread all over the world with very important true information there's systems falling apart there are many old truths being dissolved so we are kind of needing to sit here do the our own energy work um be united with our soul tribe and those that we feel you know are in resonance with us but then uh, really sit and 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 hold the love the light the truth as so much will fall apart and the anger of understanding the truth and not have wanting to believe that before and kind of given your safety to different systems when you when that is starting to be revealed as it is now there will be a lot of anger and we are the ones that are gonna anchor in the love or the light the divine truth we will put boundaries but we will also be there from love and truth right so that's also why in the practices that i will be mailing out i really want just to give you the the importance of how to anchor a hundred percent light pillar how do you open space how do you close space how do you release all the uh, limiting beliefs and how do you invite uh, you know to step into and embody the new you so uh, I will put the link if you want to subscribe to my email list because it's going to happen automatically every morning from the 1st of August to 8th of August to receiving my email. So, and then on Instagram, I will do my activations daily and on, on TikTok, I will do also an activation. So just different places to assist those around us because by the end of the day, you know, the message that we are getting is to, to, to gather our tribe. Uh, we are for fortunate enough to have awakened a little bit before many others after us. And we have a responsibility towards herself and those behind us to, to anchor in as much love, light and peace. And I keep talking about the seven spirits of, peace, of, of Christ because in our solar plexus we have the house of ego that usually has negative portals that gets opened and activated when someone is not feeling okay around us right and a inner child boom, starts to activate the house of ego and what happens is that different imposter spirits start to be able to build a little bit of a house in the solar plexus and we lose our center and we lose connection with the spirits of Christ. So I always daily in my meditation invite each spirit which is purity, patience, is kindness, is generosity, diligence, discipline and humility. For you that were have been working with me for a while on my webinars, my workshops, 
you know I talk about this, but really inviting the spirits of Christ is really activating the codes of Christ consciousness within our blueprint field, because we already have all of those codes. That's our natural state. And as I keep talking about separation and all the overlays, is also our natural state. I want to keep saying this because my guides are so clear with that, that our natural state is sharp, focused, alert. Not tired, not drained, not fatigued. I also experience those kind of states, but inside of me I know that I need to do those detail adjustments as I talked about in the beginning of the video, in, in August we will keep doing some detail adjustments in our life so we feel more and more of that natural state. Sharp focus alert, sharp focus alert, because in August we will receive a message is about our next step. So I also want to say that after August there will be game time, playtime and we will be ready to take on the next level of our mission that's also why i've been called to do the facilitator training because that's where you know during three days i will really be able through our family of life and your higher self to activate and put online new levels of your gifts because we have done such work this last three months, May, June, July, to release that, what makes us dim and, you know, contract who we are, we know now that that will not serve us. So when we get sight and when we receive the message of go, you know, use this gift here, we remember, you know, do you know about this about you? Do you remember this? La 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 la. And then you will be like, boof, I'm going. I am going full force forward now. Because I remember why I came here and what I came here to be and do. We can assist on so many levels, beloved. We can step into a room and through anchoring our light pillar and be centered we can shift the energy of an entire room without draining ourselves, without saying a single word. And we are starting to understand that. It's not about being better than anyone else. It's about the amount of, in the level of consciousness we have reached, so we know how to manage energy. We have shape-shifting qualities that automatically will be turn on online when it's beneficial for us to be able to reach and connect with a soul that needs to remember it will not be draining it's not like we put on masks it's just um, a higher consciousness shape, shape shifting quality that makes us resonance in the same resonance as that person so they do understand us and we can, can communicate in the same frequency and we are here on this earth to use all the elements for healing for activation for opening portals for um, planetary work for group work I say after this so much fun is coming online it's like that divine inner child of us will finally be able to draw create magic and just use all its not imagination but its full capacity okay beloved my team say it's time to do the activation so we ask for the highest capacity of God's infinite love, infinite light, and infinite power to come in and come through. We ask only for uh, the light beings that are 100% in service for the eternal living light to come in and come through. We ask we love God to anchor and harmonize the field. So only the highest of the highest of the highest will be shown here for all of us in our here and now. 
Runo Renaki, she tarana kurutu si taranaki anaya. Beautiful. So immediately the teams shows me this beautiful pool. It's a pool full of um, emerald water. So just for a while, just stand on the side of this pool and observe the pool. It's the emerald pool. It is the emerald heart which has created a pool for us to bathe in today. I see beautiful golden threads that goes to the Lemurian timeline, Surunokishia, to the Atlantean timelines and the Egyptian timelines. So the absolutely highest vibration is pouring in from these three different timelines into this emerald green water, this beautiful pool. And you can allow yourself to take a dip into this pool. Allow yourself to really be fully covered by this emerald, beautiful, warm water, all the way up to you, you covering your throat. Riana Siana Rana Kurotoya. Now feel the warm water the soft water against your skin feel how your fatigue muscles can relax into the emerald pool feel how your blood system gets assistance to run more smoothly and feel how your body becomes light and you're floating on your back and as you're floating on your back in this water your physical energy body totally relax and moves into a healing state Feel how your emotions, so now it is like your mind also, your brain and your whole emotional energy body just moves into zero point and just moves into balanced state and just completely surrender into this emerald pool. And as you are laying on your back in the pool, just floating, you can look upwardly and you see this big ocean above you of stars. It is this beautiful sight of cosmos above you. And through opening your eyes and just witnessing the cosmic and galactic star systems, the universal systems above you, your mental energy body relaxes. And as you're laying there on your back, the emerald water just slightly covers your ears so you're hearing the water moving underneath you and above you you're watching this beautiful galactic and cosmic system feeling safe and protected by your cosmic and galactic families now opening your spiritual energy body. Urusia, now you're just completely surrendering. Both your body and your emotional feel to the water, 
your mental and spiritual field up to the cosmic and galactic field. You're just completely dissolving to everything there is and you feel an empowered flow of code streaming through the most beautiful Lemurian experience, amplifying, assisting you with old hidden wisdom beautiful streaming energies from the Atlantean timelines giving you, retrieving you memories and beautiful, powerful streaming energies from the Egyptian timelines. You can just lay here, feel how deep healing is occurring in your whole 12 energy body. You are getting like a reset. Oh, feeling safe, the team keeps repeating. Feeling safe to reset, to restore, to just enjoy before the big change and rebirth. Now breathe the water, the emerald water into your cells, into your muscles, into your DNA, to your skin, into your whole auric field. And slowly you're putting your feet down, see yourself walking out of the pool as the last pieces of the water drops is leaving your body you're coming back to a very centered and sharp focused and alert state breathe up and down through your vertical line Feel how you are getting back your energy. Coming back to the room where you're sitting and the team says you can repeat this as often as you need. Come back to this place as often as you need during August as we ask for all of this energy work to be sealed and to be integrated with grace is love light and empowerment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so be it, so be it. It is done. Breathe and come slowly back. Mm. Beloveds, I hope you feel as committed as I to really put time and effort into the first eight dates of August. And in, remember, we're doing it together and it really doesn't matter what is happening. It's just that huge commitment to use the Stargate energy, the, the, the connection with Egyptian timelines and the pyramids and all the magic there that we have the opportunity to use together. So I really hope you will enjoy um, the effort and, and um, the channel um, the channeled um, exercises or whatever you want to call it um, that you can do daily and the activations and everything we do together and I'm wishing you the most beautiful and powerful August. I love you, I'm here with you, I have a lot of different <clears throat> powerhouse activities and workshops and webinars uh, that happens after this important and intense period but i will also make sure to use it as yeah committed as possible i love you Mwah.